hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so how is everyone i hope that you guys are having a good morning evening or night whenever you are watching this but yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into today's video and i am beyond excited because kiara scott has launched some new products which they sent over to me and i'm going to be showing you guys in today's video so these products launched um, last week on Friday, I believe, on the 11th. I'm not sure because I am a few days late posting this, but um, I did show you guys like a little sneak peek on Instagram. So if you follow me, you may have seen it. If not, go ahead and follow me so you guys can get sneak peeks and just updates. Um, sometimes behind the scene, like stuff that I'm working on or just a little bit more than you see on YouTube. But as you guys see, I have the new cover tips, which are a part of the new jelly tip line. And they also sent over some essentials. So let's just go ahead and get right into unboxing everything. So this here are the essentials that you guys need for the jelly tips or any gel X application. So first we have the prep, which is going to prep your nails and dehydrate everything. You can also use like acetone, alcohol, just to make sure that all of the oils are removed. The next is step two, which is the primer. And this is just going to prime everything. Um, it will leave sort of like a tacky layer behind. That is how you know you have enough product on there. Um, I don't really use prep and primer like that just because I'm always using my peel off method. But yeah, if you want your nails to last, go ahead and get you some prep and primer. For step three, we have the builder gel. And this is the one that I'm most familiar with along with step four. So the Builder Gel is what you're going to use to apply them. It has a really thick consistency for like that really strong bondage. Um, and then step four, which is the top coat. And of course you will need the top coat to seal in your design and protect your nails. So once you finish, you go over it with the top coat here and you have a glossy and fresh manicure. I will say I do love the quality of Kara Scott's products. They are honestly top tier. If you haven't tried any, I'd honestly suggest you guys go ahead and try some. They also sent over their Beyond Pro Flash Sensor Light. So I do have one like this, but the difference being this one here has like it doesn't have an on and off button. Um, it has like a motion sensor. So when you put your hands in the light, it comes on automatically. So over on the back, it has like the features, specifications, and everything that it includes. So this is a 4 watt lamp. Um, it's acetone resistant. It comes with a 60 second timer. It's very lightweight and it also has two curing light bulbs. Um, also, it comes with a warranty card and the instructions and this is everything that it includes. It has the cord, which is very long, the wall adapter, which I really love when it comes to these lamps because I have so many lamps where it just come with the cord and I have to provide my own. So it's nice to know that when you get a lamp like this from Kara Sky, it will include the wall adapter. So yeah, and also this is how the little light looks. It's so cute. Now I'm getting into the most exciting part. These are the new jelly tips guys. So for this new PR, I was able to pick out um, some of the tips of my liking. So firstly, these here are the square in a medium length in the color blooming. And as you see, like they just look so good already. I could not wait to open these and try them. I am just going to show you very quickly and then I'll get into like the other parts. So one thing that completely blew my mind for this to be their first launch, they have a total of 36 different options that you guys can choose from. So they have six different colors. They have two different lengths, which are short and medium. They also have the square shape, almond shape, and also coffin. So all of those combinations, you get 32 different options, which is totally insane. So the second ones I picked out are the square and a medium length in the color Amour. I feel like these are just so pretty because of the soft pink color. I feel like these also remind me of their color Acrylic Rascato. And I really love using that color. It's such a like muted pink, but it's like also still very soft and girly. See, I think that is why I picked this one out. Um, and also I love the little Kara Sky logo and like the inside of the cuticle area. Their new nail tips also have that logo. I love that detail to them. 
The third ones I picked out are in the almond shade, which are in the medium length, and this is the color Vanilla Sky. So when I was picking these out, I did try to get a range of different selections, like I didn't want to get all square. However, I didn't pick out a coffin shape just because I don't really like how those look on my nails. Um, and recently I did try some almond nails using some poly gel when I did the red French hibiscus nails and I really like them. So I did pick out two almond shapes. And also, by the way, all of these are going to be in the medium length just because I didn't want to go too short because these are already pretty short to me so i just wanted to go with the medium so that will make me a little bit more comfortable and to my liking so the last set of nails i picked out are in the almond shape which are in the color valentine and i really love these i did apply these to my nails and post them on instagram um, i will be posting the tutorial today or maybe tomorrow i'm not sure but i just really love the color of these since they are like a little bit of a darker pink, like, I don't know, I just feel like I really love this color. And yeah, I really love this nude launch. I feel like since I am getting more into Gel X nails, this is going to be perfect. I love the quality of these and I just feel like these are going to be so perfect for you because these nails make everything a lot easier. And yeah, so here's just a nice little overview just showing you the difference in the colors. Yeah, I really think you guys are going to enjoy them, especially if like you love the natural look, if you love doing gel X nails. So I don't know if a lot of you guys were wondering or curious because I know I was. I was so ready to test these out with the Ben Test. So the Ben Test just lets you know if it's really made out of gel. Real and authentic gel tip. Because if you bend it, you're going to get that little white cast going through it. But once you unbend it and it goes back to normal, that is how you know you have a good quality gel nail. And would you guys look at that? Like that was literally like magic. Like it doesn't even look like I even bent this nail. There was no cuts, no edits. I, yeah, I'm just blown away from these. Like Kara Sky has been coming out with so many new launches. Like we've just been getting so many goodies, honestly. I want to thank Kira Sky for sending these products and yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into my nails. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing both of my nails. I don't know why I thought about this. I thought since gel X nails are easy, I want to just do both my hands to show you guys how a full manicure would look. So I'm going to test these out on both of my hands today. And since I'm always doing my nail prep on my left hand, which don't necessarily need much i'm gonna be doing my prep on my right hand today which definitely needed needed it those cuticles were so overgrown and i am just propping my hand on my light box because it was kind of hard to like level out my hand and stabilize everything so this just helped me a little more before we get into that part though i wanted to also introduce you guys to their new drill bits um which is also another new launch so this first drill bit here, we have a mini barrel cuticle bit, and this bit is going to get up all of the cuticles and lift up the skin. So you can go ahead and clip away all of the dead skin. The second two are just safety removal bits. I did get a fine cores and a medium cores. This here is the fine grit, and then the second one here is the medium. So I really like these because they are safety bits, which means when you file around the cuticle area, you are less likely to file your skin or hurt yourself. And with these bits here, you can remove gel products, um, acrylic, gel polish, glitters, whatever the case may be. These two drill bits will help you out with that. Um, and so yeah, also again, thank you Kira Scott for sending these products. So I'm going to be using the mini barrel cuticle bit with my beyond pro e-files so i can go ahead and do some cuticle prep i did go ahead and turn my direction in reverse because i am going to be working on my other hand and keep in mind this was very very difficult like even just me trying to get in frame this was so difficult like i would probably not do my right hand for a while just because like i don't know it is totally something different so if you see me moving my hands so awkwardly like just not in a comfortable position and see i'm just going to be working this bit around my cuticles as you can see the eponychium is coming up and i'm going to be clipping that away i'm also going to be going against the nail plate to get up all of that cuticle 
I do feel like this part is really satisfying though because I never do prep on this one so you can really see it coming up also I love how like I was able to show how this really works with um unprepped nails like if I use these on my left hand you wouldn't get like the complete feel of how it works and how good it works because since I do my nails very often there's not really much work need to be done to them and so yeah I do have a discount code with Kira Sky and also a referral link so if any of these products sparks an interest for you and you want to try them out go ahead and click the link down below and it will take you directly to their website and the discount code will be automatically applied or if you just want to go to the website and type in my code, the discount code is Nails by Key 10 Look, I am going to be clipping the extra skin off because there was a lot. And I was being very, very careful with these. So this part was kind of difficult because, of course, I wanted to be extra careful not to cut myself. After I use, like, my cuticle ball bit, I will have a little bit of bleeding on my um, thumbnail, I believe. But it wasn't like a lot. It didn't hurt me. Um, and also, it was a little difficult because these cuticle nippers are getting kind of dull. So they weren't really like super sharp to cut everything as fast as I needed to. So for the fact of that, I did not film all of it because it was just like, you know, I wanted to make sure that I didn't cut myself. So for most of it, I did just have it really close to my face trying to make sure that I was doing them right and not damaging myself so next i'm going to be taking a large cuticle ball bit and just going over um my cuticles and my skin area just to polish everything up that i clipped away or just buffing away everything that i left behind or couldn't get to also i did just want to throw in there that it is super early for me so i wanted to have this video up on time so it's super early it's 7 42 a.m for me and to me since i am not a morning person this is super early for me like i don't know how the morning rises does it but like morning is just not for me i'm a night owl i will stay up all night if i can or if i want to 80 percent of the time i'm just not sleepy and i'll end up staying up all night but yeah, I just had to throw that in there just in case you guys hear the crickets. I know I've been mentioning this in my videos a lot lately because they are so annoying to, like, they're just so loud at the most random times. Like, of course, in the morning and at night, but like, even in the afternoons, like, you can literally hear these crickets. And just in case you guys are wondering, I do live in South Carolina, so I do live in the country. So, yeah, but the next step I'm going to take for my nail prep is I'm going to be using their mini mandrel bit and their setting bands, working that around my cuticle once more, and then removing the shine from my natural nails. Out of everything, this was the easiest part to do. Again, I'm still working with the drill bit in the reverse direction. And then once I'm finished, this is how my nails are looking. I did just go ahead and clip my nails down just a little bit. I do love how my natural nails look. They aren't even, but I do love that they grow out and they look very healthy. So I didn't want to cut them down all the way. I did just go ahead and cut a little bit. And then I also went ahead and shaped them up off the camera with a file. Now I'm taking a lint-free wipe and some alcohol just to remove all of that dust. And now we are ready to go ahead and apply our nails. So I did end up picking out this one here to use, which are the Amore color in the square medium length. Um, and so I'm going to start with the step one, which is the prep. I don't normally use these because I'm always using a peel off method. But I just wanted to show you guys on my right hand how you would go about using them. And as you can see, I'm not going like all in. I'm just doing like one or two brush overs just to give you guys a demonstration. But for the prep, it's just going to dehydrate the surface so it doesn't leak behind like any oils. And then for the prep, I'm just going to do one brush over again. This is going to leave behind like sort of a tacky layer. And this is basically priming your nails to be bonded with that other gel.
Another way you can prime your application is taking the tip and just adding some to like the cuticle area or you can take a small mandrel drill bit or a bigger one with je whichever you have handy um, and just going in etching that surface and that is just going to remove all of that surface shine. The way I like to picture this or like imagine it is dry on dry it's just like water and water but dry and shiny it's like water and oil so it's not gonna mix so that is why you want to have a dehydrated nail bed area and then also a dehydrated um, nail tip or like I said you can just go in with the primer and that works as well now after all of that prep I did go ahead and put on a peel off base because I don't plan on keeping these nails on for long I did just receive more PR packages so I have more content to film but I didn't show it because I just want you guys to stick to the prep however I will be down to like do a wear test like I'll do my right hand again off camera and just see how long they last of me like actually prepping them and then I'll be coming out here just doing my left hand like I always do and I'll just update you guys on how they last throughout like my weeks or everything let me know if you guys will be interested in seeing how long they last um but yeah I am just gonna go ahead and apply these which are super easy and fast like I'm already done with my left hand already just like honestly just that quickly so I just go in with the step three which is the builder gel and I'm gonna be putting some underneath the nail tip in my last video, I did do like a nail prep video on how to do gel X nails. So for this one, I didn't put a lot of builder gel underneath my tip because I didn't want to have a lot of spillage. A little bit really does goes a long way. Um, I was kind of having some problems with like the light being too low. I felt like it was so far from where I started, like getting it from point A to B. So I did just go ahead and prop it up a little bit more having it a little bit higher was a lot more convenient so i'm just going to be applying all of my nails by putting some of the builder gel into the cuticle area starting at the cuticle adding pressure towards the tip you can also see the builder gel kind of flow down and the nail and see so yeah, i go ahead and cure it for about 15 seconds once i finish i'm gonna cure them in my bigger light as i always do for another 30 to 60 seconds and yeah, I just love how these are already pre-colored as well. If you guys are wondering like how is the light getting through, they are a little transparent, which is the difference from like um, press-on nails. You wouldn't be able to apply press-on nails like this because press-on nails are like really opaque. Even though these jelly tips have color on them, they are still sheer. So the light is able to get through the nails and cure everything. Just in case you guys were wondering, um, I'm not sure if you can just apply these like press-ons with regular glue. I'm not sure they will hold up as easily because it's not being bonded with itself. Like gel on gel is going to be gel and glue. So I don't know how that will work or if it's going to hold up nice. Um, I'm pretty sure if you prep your nails right, they would last for a few days. Um, but it's always recommended that you guys go ahead and apply these with gel. So you will need something of that sort. Um, and also a curing light. So yeah, just quickly, I'm going to be taking my small mandrel drill bit just to go around the cuticle area like I always do. And for some reason, I feel like it's so satisfying to see me work with my other hand done. Like, I don't know if it's just you guys. Like, I just felt so different when working with them. Like, it was just so nice to have both of my hands done. But I'm just giving these nails a little shape. Um... I'm straightening out the sidewalls and also I'm going over the free edge area to remove that little piece of plastic. And yeah, once I do this, this is going to be all we need for like the nails. You can go in and add top coat if you would like to, however you want to design them. I am going to add a little something to these nails because I felt like I didn't want to just give you guys the application because I kind of did that in my last video and I didn't want the video to be super short either. So once I finish shaping up my nails and getting them all ready for the design, I'm going to be doing some quick and simple nail art just to like spice in these up a little bit. But yeah, that's basically all I did. And honestly, I do recommend these tips to you guys if you love like a fast manicure, if you love doing gel X nails, I feel like these are going to be so nice for you to have in your collection.
but yeah once i finish this is how the nails are looking my left hand most definitely look better than my right but that is okay so i am going to be taking some white gel polish and i'm going to be doing a quick french tip on my ring finger so yeah this is the part where i'm just going to let you guys go ahead and watch the rest of it because it's super simple and if you guys are enjoying today's video so far if you are loving these new launches from kara sky go ahead and like the video if you haven't already i do notice a lot of my viewers are not subscribed yet so if you are here watching and you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe i will really really appreciate it also leave a comment down below So doing my right hand was definitely difficult. I'm going to give you guys like a few little snippets of how it went and then how it turned out. Um, so as you guys see, I'm having some trouble stabilizing my hand. My hand is very shaky. My lines aren't the best. I am just trying to go very slow, but I feel like me going really slow, it just makes my hand shake worse. So yeah, I'm just trying to do my lines as straight as possible. Um, and once I see that it's not even, I'm going to take a cleanup brush and you'll see my hand shake so much. So what I end up doing is just taking the whole entire nail off because this was not going to work. So what I end up doing is just taking the entire nail off, go ahead and do my French with the nail off my hand and then cure it. I did it at a second coat. Once I had everything cured, I just went ahead and reapplied the nail and that was my little hack for doing that. So yeah, I liked how it turned out. It was a lot nicer than how it would have been if I hadn't taken it off. But yeah, now I'm going to be adding some top coat, which is step four. And I'm going to be adding some bling to like my free edge of the nails. I feel like this was just something simple because I originally was just going to do some bling around like my smile line area where I did my French. But I didn't want to have my other nails plain, so this was the way I just included some of that. I'm going to be applying them to all of my nails like this into that top coat. Then of course for my French tip, I'm going to do it along the smile line area. And then we're going to be done with today's set. I didn't show me doing my right hand because it was very tedious. It took me a very long time and it was just so annoying trying to do my right hand. So if you do your nails at home and you try to do designs on them, I honestly applaud you for doing both hands. I'm only used to doing my left hand, so this was very new to me. I think I only did like my right hand a few times on my YouTube channel. I know for sure I did one using poly gel where I did like some red bling nails. But yeah, doing my right hand is definitely a challenge. I don't know if I plan to do my right hand more on my channel, but as of right now, I do not plan on doing it because it is just such a difficult challenge. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add my bling and then we'll be done with it so I can show you guys how both of my hands turn out. Once everything is all cured, I'm going to go in with my rose scent cuticle oil, also from Kara Sky. 
I really love this one. It feels very nourishing and it smells so good. And then once I rub everything in, this is how the nails turn out. I love how they look. I feel like the bling adds so much more to these nails. But overall, like just the nails, I completely love these. I love the quality. I love this color. For this to be a first launch, I feel like there's so many options for you. I cannot wait to see what other colors they come out with. I would love to see them come out with like a brown or like a milky white. Um, I don't know like just more colors like blue greens yellows or just ones with designs on them like French tips makes it a lot easier I'm just curious to see how far they will go with this because I love these so much I've been really into gel X nails and I know you guys love them here on my channel So this was a very fun video to do and just let you guys see the prep and a full manicure instead of just one hand I also love how you are able to customize them to your liking like how I did I added some bling and a French tip of course you can go in with whatever you want to go in with on top of these nails stickers um airbrush nail art like it doesn't matter like I really love that you are able to customize them and they are already pre-colored so it saves a lot of time so yeah that basically wraps up today's video I really enjoyed using these let me know how you guys like these down below in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.